welcome back to Forecast Earth. I'm Natalie Allen. Now and then we find a story that touches on more than one aspect of climate change. For example, this next story is directly related to extreme weather events like hurricanes and tornadoes that can destroy homes and communities. And it also connects directly to sustainable building because it's about turning virtual trash into emergency shelter. It's all brought together by an entrepreneur who's made it his business to be grassroots green. My name's Charlie Daniel. I'm president and CEO of First Response Structures. Keep coming up, keep coming up. When Katrina hit, um, it just kind of rang a bell with me to, uh, to try to do something. Brown, I have been displaced before. Uh, I've had to live in a temporary shelter. And I grew up on the Chesapeake Bay and got involved in conservationists and uh, went on to get an environmental engineering degree. Went into construction uh, with a focus on sustainable materials. Ready? My experience and background allowed me to pull together uh, the First Response Structures team and it serves the displaced families that have lost their homes after weather-related disasters. Now, our end goal is to, to help the victims and to help the environment, and it's that simple. The Ready Shelter is primarily constructed of a wheat straw panel. The raw material uh, after the wheat grain is, is harvested is left over. It's essentially trash. We heat it, compress it. You can see how tight that is. Wheat and rice uh, are readily available uh, worldwide. Wheat's one of the most uh, harvested crops in the world. To build the same size house out of timber, trees, it takes one acre of clear-cut forest, which is renewable only every 25 years. It takes six acres of wheat straw to build the same house, which is renewable every single year. One of the cool things about this is uh, it takes so little energy to produce this as opposed to a brick or steel. It has a very small carbon footprint, and what that means is uh, less greenhouse gases. So we're taking a, an unused product and turning it into a beneficial solution to temporary housing. When we put the unit up, the panels just drop in. The steel locks it all together. It's a kit. Uh, the panels are very durable. They're strong. Uh, they can sustain hurricane force winds. Even though they're made of straw, you know, they do not burn. We put a torch on it. Not only does it not burn, it does not conduct heat. If you look down, all the electrical, uh, that's all under the floor. All the plumbing's under the floor. Uh, you don't need heavy equipment to install it. Uh, what you need is uh, hand tools, ladders, and uh, unskilled labor and it goes up very quickly. When it's no longer needed, it can be disposed of in an environmentally friendly way. You can mulch up the panels on site and you can use the steel we use in the building and recycle it. Other temporary housing solutions contain a lot of materials which are considered hazardous and it is a disposal issue. It's exciting just to think that we're doing that much with the environment to help victims of these hurricanes or other weather related disasters. It's not hard getting out of bed in the morning thinking these things. Check out this week's climate quiz from Bill Nye. I'm Bill Nye the science guy and it's time to test your green smarts with the Weather Channel climate quiz. Typical four person household, how much water could they save every year if they change to low flow shower heads? 100 gallons. 50 gallons. I'd say 1,000. 5,000 gallons a year. 1,000 gallons a year. The answer, coming up next.